Hi, my name is Tavishna. Welcome back to my channel. And you can see all around there is snow. We had like six inches of snow yesterday due to a snowstorm. You can watch my video about uh, snowstorms too. So, if you guessed it right, the topic about this video is going to be snow. So first, how is snow formed? Snow forms up, up, up in the clouds when it is cloudy. And inside there, a dust or pollen freezes and then bounces around the cloud collecting more water, water um, molecules that make up water. Those water molecules ha are like a V shape, but they're not, they're like the greater than symbol like this, but they're much wider like this. And when they, when a bunch of them stick together, they make the hex, they make a hexagon shape that, and maybe, and more and more stick together, making a branch. And that branch sticks onto that frozen pollen, making a snowflake. But that's just the beginning story. It falls down uh, out of the cloud, where it goes in a different path. And its shape is always changing depending on how much water is in the air, how much air is there, how much wind is there. And once it lands on the ground below here, it becomes part of this huge family of snow. So, snow can be icy if it's like, if you dig under and then you see ice, that's because that is snow that has been frozen. But snow why does snow become ice snow becomes ice when it's below because it's so cold that they all stick together and since snowflakes are actually ice just very weak they stick together so when they stick together they make a big ice floor below the snow so during uh when it's snowing it, um, there'll be a lot of snow falling on the ground and it won't really turn into ice but when it settles for about a day or a few hours it starts to freeze and freeze until all the snow on top melts due to the sun and all the snow below has been turned into ice so that also can tell when it's snowy you don't want to just run snow also means that there can be ice on the ground especially if it has not just snowed even if it just snowed, a bit of the snow that has already fell can become ice. So, I have a question for you. What's your favorite thing to do on a snow day? Make sure that you answer. You make sure you answer your. Um, make sure you take your time and answer the question to yourself, or maybe you have a group of people tell it, share, pause the video, stop and think. But I'll go on now. A different type of snowflakes. So I just tell came up with names for about 30 snowflakes and, and these are just a few some are long and thin like needles some are tall and uh, well tall i mean not tall but fat and short usually like what was that some it's like a hexagon of girl it's it's a hexagon snowflake i forgot its name but there's also other ones like um that they're, they're fat and they're long like cylinders and um there are like the most uh famous one the most famous shape is the dio cap the, the guy the dio caps and so they're like the one that have a hexagon and a gold shape they have the branches they're like the most famous i'm gonna sit down now and show you the snow so you can see that when I pick up the snow, it, when I toss it in the air, it doesn't really spread out. It's really wet snow, so I can make a snowman. It's like the snow where you get a mold stuff. But when I do a snowball, I throw it, it won't splat. It just stays solid. Even if I just take some top, and then I just, like, um, don't even press it. Throw, you can see it does not spread apart. So I don't think snowballs are really that used, but snowmans are used. It's hard snow, and when I was actually walking, 
I did not fully sink into the snow. I kind of like stayed above the snow, like this deep. Uh, somewhere around like this deep. It was, I did not sink down that deep. Anyways, it does make sense because I'm not that heavy, but there was a strong, the snow was really strong. It's really strong. So, uh, otherwise the snow is also just like snow. It's really fun to play with. And also, if you can also stop and think now, what do you like? Like snow that just when you throw it, it splatters everywhere? Or the snow where you like to, like where the snow, you make snowman with wet snow, like what we have right now. Stop and think, you can pause the video and talk with your group, or if you don't have a group, just talk to yourself. It's another moment like that. But I will be doing this. I'll be doing that. Ah, it's icy. I will be doing that in some videos, but yeah, I'm doing it this video maybe multiple times. So this snow is like six inches, I told you, and it was also very slippery. So again, you can watch a few of my shorts. I have safety tips for you. And yeah. I hope they stay safe when you're walking in the snow, but also snow is colorless. But because since but since snow reflects since snow re, since snow reflects all sunlight, so sunlight has colors, and since snow reflect reflects all the colors, it appears white to us. Like for example, an apple, an uh, apple reflects, no, the, the, an apple absorbs every color and but reflects red, so it appears red to us. Coal, coal absorbs every color, so it appears black to us. So that is in our vision, vision. so I will have another episode on like color, color. But, I'm going to tell the top three snowiest countries. So, number three, United States of America. They are a pretty big country. Probably most of their snow is in Alaska. Number two, Canada. Canada is the second biggest country. And it makes sense that they will borrow snow, especially in the north. Number one will probably surprise you. It's actually Japan. Japan loves this season of winter. They love every season. But uh, winter is one of their favorites. And Japan looks beautiful in the winter. So Japan gets the most snowfall. That is a true fact. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.